Hey, welcome back. This is Ramki Ramakrishnan and today is the 21st of April 2021, a Wednesday evening in India and the time is just past 5 p.m. You can see on my screen lots of prices are flashing. For example, this right hand corner is the price of Bitcoin. I'm going to make it big so you can see that it's a live market and the time is just past 5 p.m. here and the date is 21st of April 2021. Uh, just to show that I am actually recording this live and this is not something that is shown to you after the fact. Well, uh, generally speaking, when I look at my daily screen, I glance at the news at the bottom, the headlines, and I see today that Australian shares suffers worst day in nearly two months on virus resurgence. Of course, the news on the virus is not good anywhere in the world. But since I'm looking at this headline, I decided to take a look at the Australian index, which is the ASX 200 over here, dot AXJO, which is the benchmark index in Australia. And we are going to discuss this particular index and how I would approach that market and what plans we can make if we have exposures in that market. So I go here and enlarge the screen and you can see that at the end of the day uh, at 12.30 India time on 21st April 21, the index closed at 6997.5. Okay. So I go back and say right click related chart. And this is what I get. Once again, you can see the date here on the top left. 42121, which is April 21st, and the price closed at 6997, which you can see at the top right here in black, 6997. And this significant low is that of March of last year, the pandemic panic low. So what do you make of this chart now that you have been through 14 modules of this course? And here you are in this latest case study, pause the video for a moment and figure out what you can make out of this chart. All right. First thing which I would do is to look at this long period of consolidation. So why am I making these calculations? It is simply to determine how much to risk and how much will I get in return for the risk. So assuming I sell uh, I take a position in this index, a short position, as it is topping out here between 7170 and 7180. Okay, let's say I do it in two stages at 7120 and 7170. My average will be around 7140, for example. How much can I risk? If I'm looking conservatively for, let's say, 6600, I'm not even waiting for this last few uh, points here. Let's say I'm planning to take profits at 6600. So, 7140 minus 6600 is 540 points. As you know, we are looking for at least a 3 to 1 risk reward ratio. So let's take four, per, four times what we want to risk as the profit potential. So 540 points divided by 4. So I can risk up to 135 points. So you add that 135 to 7140, I get 7275 as my stop. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, is there a chance that this index can go to 7275 is the next question. Of course it can go. But let's go to the weekly chart quickly and see what was this high. This high is 7197. And this 7177 is quite close to this. So, because of this huge sell-off here, and the fact that there will be many traders who are caught long somewhere here. And that's a general tendency for fund managers to look at these prior tops as important and significant. Uh, I would think that keeping a stop at 7275 is quite a safe bet, especially if this goes up in declining volume. So the reward is significant compared to what you're risking. So even if this is only a top of a third wave, okay, as I told you earlier, if this is wave one, let me go back and squeeze this a bit. 
if this is wave one, wave two, and all of this is wave three, I told you that uh, a conservative target for a wave four will be the 23.6 percent, which is 6614. So even that is a lot of distance for uh, what we are risking. 7140 minus 6700 in this case, we get 440 for a risk of uh, 135, did I say? So 440 divided by 135 is 3.25 for every dollar we risk. So it's very clear that the strategy should be to wait for this final move up and you should watch the next move in the hourly chart, how it unfolds. And if it seems to you like five tiny waves are getting over somewhere near this target of 7125 to 7177, then you should just turn short in stages. That itself is quite a profitable trade and it will pay back this course multi times over, multifold. Okay. So if you think you like this approach to trading, then why don't you incorporate it in every little trade that you take? That is the reason why you subscribe to this course, didn't you? Okay, I'm going to sign off here. I wish you all the best and I will uh, see you maybe after a couple of months because I'm going to be traveling. And um, of course, I'll be in touch with the market and I will answer your emails, uh, especially those who want to do some consulting work. So here's an assignment for you while I'm away. Keep watching this Australian index and if it turns out the way we have anticipated it to, then you are one of those few people who had this warning well in advance. Okay, the, the level now is 6997 and it's only the 21st of April and we don't know how much time it's going to take to get here. But when it does, well, you know how much advance notice you had to prepare for this trade. Good luck and see you some other time.